Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's welcome Julia and Claire with Medina Troop 495. We're going to talk about... Um, They're after seven. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Claire, you want to... So where did you... What um, organization did you choose for your bronze? Raptor Center. <laughs> yeah. And Julia, would you like to talk about the Raptor Center? Uh, it's a place where. What do they do there? They um help injured birds. And have you been there, Claire? Yes. And what did you see when you were there? We saw birds. Well, what kind of birds? <laughs> <laughs> you asked me what I saw. We saw. Red-tailed hawks, which is what we're doing our presentation about, but like different ones. Like we we saw an eagle. Yeah, we saw this bird. I don't know. I think it was a crane or yeah. something. And yeah. it. And um. It was and who blind. gave you the tour there? Um, I think was her name Kay Laura or Laura. Yeah, her name was Laura. Was she um like runs the Raptor Center. She also founded the Medina Espresso. So hmm. She okay. used to help deer, that's what she said. Yeah. Do you remember where the Raptor Center is at? It's, so a, it's Spencer. in Spencer. Very good. It's in Spencer. And so what are you doing to help the Raptor Center? What kind of things are you collecting like or what else? Like what we else can donate money. And like we're collecting, well, I'm collecting donations from my neighbors. I can tell you about why I made a present. Why? You, it's part of my presentation. And what other things can you collect? We for can them? collect green, like, because it's out, like, we have to do the green for mm -hmm. this house because we just keep it. Like, so that and means that the green we are cycled. And, like, um, Dawn dish soap. <laughs> um, <laughs> what other things? Newspapers. My family is collecting newspapers. And paper towels. Paper towels. And stuff like that. And like and pine needles. Pine and pine needles. needles. Yeah. What do they use the pine needles for? The uh, bottom of the cages. Yeah. To make it feel more like home. So Julia, why don't you talk about the bird you chose? Let's uh, share your postcards. I chose Cloud. He is a narcissistic um, red-tailed hawk, which means that, um, well, the, the nef definition is a genetic variation where, okay, um, this basically yeah. means that the, he doesn't create, I guess you could call it, like, paint or pigment to color his feathers, like enough to color his feathers. As you can see, he has blue eyes, so he has enough to color his eyes, but not enough to color his whole body. Also, um, he, but why he is at the Raptor Center is because he got hit by a freight train, um, and the Was he flying? impact, yeah, the impact from the freight train, like naturally amputated his wing, which um, the Raptor Center had to eventually amputate more. And um, there's only eight of leucistic um, red tailed hawks in captivity, but there's um, more in the wild. Will he ever be able to fly? Um, is he gonna stay there, or yeah. they let these? He's one of the um like ambassadors <laughs> okay. of the. Yeah. And what does that mean? He is. It means like that he um helps share information to other people, so that they can like know about the Raptor Center and stuff. Is there anything else you want to share about it? Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> I don't have any hawk ideas. But, um. Will they take them out for a 
participation. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, some facts about the red-tailed hawks are their nest type is a uh, large bowl of sticks in a trawl hole, tree, or cliff edge. And um, I drew a picture of what I thought it would look like by the description that I can find. And their habitat, habitat is found in agricultural areas. I um, drew a field, and this is what the regular red-tailed hawks would look like. Um, some of their food is like small and medium size. They also eat other birds and reptiles. This is just one example of the food. And their egg looks like that. Thank you. How about you, Claire? Mine has a lot of stuff on it. I need a stamp. <laughs> so I facts about the red tail hawk, like that's there. So I'm gonna read this. Okay, so um, what bird did you chose a red tail? I chose the red tail hawk. Her name is Valerie. Her nickname is the fire breather. Because here I'm gonna read that. So this is what I wrote about. What is this? So I said I think Valerie is a strong bird. She fought for her life because she was because she was in a really dangerous situation. She is like, she's a fighter and will soar the sky in just a few years. So, facts about Valerie. In August 2015, she flew over methane gas plumes and was not able to see or smell them. So, like, that's how that happened. But she has to go to the vet often because she can't really take care of herself and she's like very. Like she doesn't really have any friends. So. Valerie has the worst methane gas burns the mm -hmm. raccoon ever had. How long does she? Will she stay there? That's part of it. <laughs> and um, she has she lost all of her feathers and damage she to the tags. I really don't know what that means, but it is. So Valerie had to have all her food chopped up because of her beak, like it was burned and stuff. Like, this is a picture of her, like a different picture. It had like, it was black because it got burned. Like, different color. But no, she can eat it whole, but it still has to be wet. Like, she can't touch it. So. In the beginning of March, she got a brand new feather on her wing. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's mm -hmm. These two are actual pictures of her, and so she has one feather like that. But they say, feathers need to have a supply of blood in the shell, and they can see that it is very low supply, so Valerie will be getting more feathers like for this year. She's very feisty and is making more progress than they thought she would, but the rehabilitation will take about two to three years in total, so that's how long she'll be there. And then Valerie will need a lot of specialized treatment, but hopefully it will help her get better. And then this is the last one. This is what I was talking about, the money part for my bird, because I want to raise money for her. It says, well, I put, if you want to help raise money for Valerie, go to www.fundme.com slash mcr for down the rabbit hole slash Valor. Like her nickname can be Valor. And she does. She has a GoFundMe page for her fund. How much money have they raised for her? So far? I saw one thousand four hundred and something. Oh, okay. So what else do you have on your Wait, board? And if you want to read her story, go to www.vanaraptorcenter.org, and in the top right corner or under it, sorry, there's a search bar, and in there type Valerie, and her story shows up. And so. Now we're gonna talk about red-tailed hawks. That's what I was, that's a female red-tailed hawk, sorry. 
and so this back is back. I tell hawks live up to two or two or less, two years or less, but if held captive or survived more than two years, it lives longer because it never really said why they only live up to two years because like oh yeah they either get eaten by like other birds or something. It, they eat bulls, mice, wood rats, snowshoe hares, jackrabbits, brown squirrels, peasants, I think that's how you say it, starlings, blackbirds, snakes, and coyotes. I don't know how you say it. And then, so that's a picture of a bull, that's a mouse, and that's um, a wood rat, and that's a blackbird. I just I wish they were smaller. I tell hawks are really light, like they have so much feathers and nuts. How much do they weigh? They weigh 1.5 pounds to 3.2 pounds. And then a red tail hawk is like a noun. It says it was a noun. The most, it means like the most common and most widespread hawk of North and Central America. And then, red-tailed hawks can get up to 25 inches tall with a wingspan of 4 feet long. And this is about red-tailed hawks and what they're about. Does anybody have any questions for Claire or Julia? Kenzie. Kenzie. Why does it say the fire breather? That's her, nickname. that's her nickname because she flew over methane gas plumes and that's like fire, kind of like the... That's how she got she moved. Said, yeah. You have a question, Ashley? Mm -hmm. If you, like, pop a bird with a sharp thing, it'll, like, like that. Yeah. Pop a blue. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like hot water. Mm -hmm. Giselle. Um, I thought, is it Valor? Valor. Valor can is like her nickname. Did, did, like, where did it come from? Do you know? Like it said, why did they got Valerie? Like, right, because she's victorious. Or, what is it? Well, like, wouldn't Victor. it be like victory or like she's, she's survivor? Like, Valor, really strong. Story. Yeah. They just said Valor and then they said Valerie, Valerie, Valerie. But it was a girl and Valor, so it sounds like a boy name. Mm -hmm. um, so I just put Valor. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Anybody have any questions for Julia? Or about the raptor stuff? I have a question. Did they say where these methane plumes oh, came from? Mm -hmm. Good question. You know where they found her? They never said that either. Was it around they this just, area? I think they said it was in like, I don't know. It must have been Do you remember, this area Julia? Because I think it was like a specific like. Was um, it around this I, area? Yeah, like a factory or something? Yeah. yeah. Like factory mm -hmm. somewhere. Oh, she, maybe flew, she flew over it. Yeah, she it flew over like, it, and she couldn't see or smell them, mm -hmm. and so like, hmm. that's, and so she was like, okay, yeah, I can fly here. And she like, right when she flew over them, she like fell to the ground, mm -hmm. so she couldn't fly. Oh, I'm just I wondering if it's something the factory puts out, you know, as oh, just part of their emission, mm -hmm. oh, okay. emissions, or was something yeah. going on? Yeah. How come she couldn't okay. see or mm -hmm. smell it? Mm -hmm. Um, because like. Yeah, that one. Well, it's probably from like a factory, and like mm -hmm. she probably like she couldn't like I don't know. <laughs> it's probably clear, so well, that's why she couldn't see it. Yeah, it's yeah. Clear. Smell. Smell. Maybe it just was a smell that she couldn't pick up on. Yeah. yeah. She couldn't smell it too well. Um. So. Um. How many birds are like held at the raptor center? They said fifty. Did they say fifty-seven? Well, yeah. there's like, like there's um, fifty something. Birds. Yeah, there. It like they said it's between birds. like fifty and sixty usually, yeah. but it can like um differ depending on the time. Yeah. A lot yeah. of birds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have like a bunch of cages though. Like yeah. every time there's a new, every time they there's a new bird, she makes her husband. <laughs> yeah. There was a um a cage um from the um Sydney Friends. Uh, hmm. 
Well, we Maybe that's something you guys could get some specs for and build for them. Oh, that would yeah. be a really cool uh, project. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kylie and Mackenzie's grandpa could help oh. with supplies and tools. That would be, that would be a cool thing. Mm-hmm. I think Ashley has one of the best. Why does the um, wood that has no wings and got pulled off? Oh. But Oh, Claire's, yeah, the color of that bird's eyes are different than what That's because, well, they're different types of that bird, like, well, they're not different, like, hers is all, like, her bird is albino. albino. And like, no, it's mine, not albino, well, it's, it's just, but it she's sort of albino, it's, mm -hmm. for the albino red-tailed hawks, mm -hmm. the albino red-tailed hawks, well, they have the red tail still, mm -hmm. but, for um, this one their sister, as I said, they don't create enough pigment or paint mm -hmm. to be able to color <laughs> their. Um, They're even more albino. Yeah. They, they come out like. I did forget when she flew over the plumes, she couldn't fly and she lost all of her feathers. Mm -hmm. Because, like, they burned, they burned off. off and then, oh, wow. Like, did she you hear that, Ash? They got, they got burnt off. Yeah. That's, yeah. And how could, like, Yeah, she got burned. I saw death birds. <laughs>